In this video, we'll be taking a first look at the Circle 2 synthesizer from Future Audio Workshop. Released in 2005, Circle 2 was highly regarded thanks to some of its unique features, such as the VPS oscillator, excellent modulation system and outstanding sounding presets. They've recently just released version 2.1, which is a free update for previous Circle 2 synth owners, with a number of updates included in this release, including replacing all pop-up windows with new designs, redesign of the activation flows, a number of new presets that fix various instability issues and have reduced GUI and preset load times. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the presets that Circle 2 Synth has to offer, as well as taking a closer look at the VPS oscillator and some of the other more unique features that the synthesizer has. So let's take a look now then at some of the presets on the Circle 2 synthesizer. And when you drop down the preset browser, scroll through, we've got a number of showcase presets. And these are really, I got the impression these are designed to showcase the versatility of the synthesizer and its ability to create a variety of different sounds useful for electronic music production, but across a variety of different genres, so. Loads of nice techie chords. Nice brass synth. A really nice arpeggiator, kind of bell sound I was using in that intro. And we've got a nice hoover here. Nice bro step preset. more kind of ethereal atmospheric sounds. I really love the preset browser as well that we get in more detail down here so we can navigate for presets via the preset type, so bass organ. Or we could search for a drum sound, pad sounds. But then we get type, so we could search for high sounds and it will bring up the sort of higher frequency sounds. Or low, which I'm guessing will produce Navigate to a lot of the bassier sounds. And we've got hard, soft, moving, so a lot of the pads and sequencer sounds. And then we get the style as well, which I really like. So we can search for 1970 sounds. And give us some more old school brassy pads. Digi bass, you know, 2010, which I'm guessing will have the more bass music influence sounds. So let's take a look now at the different oscillator types, in particular the VPS, because this was something that was one of the unique features of the Circle 2 synth. VPS stands for Vector Phase Shaping Synthesis, and it's a form of using two sine waves combined in different ways to create a variety of different sonic textures. So I've loaded this new sound here, and I've got this VPS oscillator loaded into the oscillator 1 slot. <laughs> So 
So we've got quite an ordinary sound. And then we've got, with the VPS oscillator, we've got a horizontal or vertical option as well as uh, more familiar pitching. So we can modulate both of these controls as well. So let's try just with this raw sound, let's try using an LFO to modulate these two controls to sort of understand the kind of movement and textures that we can get using the VPS oscillator. So we can modulate in the Circle 2 synthesizer any of these coloured circles we see to the top left of a, a modulator or parameter. You know, we can just click and drag these. And what I love is the audition modulation that Circle 2 synth has. So without actually assigning modulation, I can audition by hovering over the modulation slots on any one of the parameters. So I've signed that LFO modulation to the vertical control there and then we can tweak this by clicking on the modulation slot and then taking it up or down or reversing the direction of the modulation. And then let's apply the same modulation to the horizontal control. But this time let's apply this modulation in reverse. Could turn on the feedback control here. Which, if you're familiar with uh, Native Instruments Massive, has a feedback control. Can tune the feedback control and bring up the level to just really beef up sound. As well as the VPS oscillator, we also get the familiar uh, analog style oscillators where we can choose sine, saw, square, and then we get some pulse width options. And we can actually use the oscillators as LFOs by activating the sub control. And then they become a really low frequency and then we can use this to say modulate another oscillator. So we can just create all kinds of different crazy textures using the oscillator section alone as well as those two art types of oscillate. We also have the wavetable, which again NI Massive users will be familiar with this. We get two different wavetables we can select in any one oscillator slot. And we can either blend between the two of course these three circles here mean we can modulate this movement as well so and like i was going back to these showcase presets before it's capable of really nice warm analog tones as well as more brutal digital style wobbly bass music tones as well so let's dial up some of the other presets and have a look <laughs> Take off my search fields.
So we've got the oscillator mixer section, and then we've got some effects. Well, not effects, sorry. We've got the variety of different filters that we can dial up in this middle section of the synthesizer. So this dual filter, which is quite interesting. We would get two frequency and resonance controls in one filter. As well as this, we've got a more standard filter and the various different filter types. I really like this mouth filter and turn this on. And uh, this is like a vowel filter. So let's turn the mix up to 100%. Uh, and push the output out. And let's bring a bit more decay time into this sound. So this mouth filter, we can select the vowels here. So R or E or R or uh, And then we select the vowel. And then slide the parameter. And of course, we can modulate this for classic vowel type tones. Let's take a closer look at some of the modulation stuff that we can do as well and load up a different preset now. So in our modulation section, we've got a variety of different envelopes. I think we've got five modulation slots. And then we have the option of either envelope, LFO, or a sequencer. The sequencer is really nice, really easy to use. And say so if I set some stuff up in this sequencer, sync it, re-trigger it, increase the rate, and draw in some sequencer movements. And then again, this audition modulation. we can just audition without actually applying anything. You know, you can just audition all this modulation controls. So obviously the filter frequency will be a good place. You can actually use this as an, the, an arpeggiator. We do have, do have an arpeggiator on the Circle 2 synth. But we could, if we want, use this sequence as an arpeggiator because we can activate the note and then you can see the sequencer will snap to semitone values and then you could use it to modulate the pitch of your oscillators. Really easy to get really nice sounds and really nice movement and modulation happening using the synthesizer. And finally, let's take a look at some of the effects that come with Circle 2 Synth. So we can dial in a couple of different effects in here. Stuff like overdrive, the fuzz distortion. And then we can also dive into this effect section here and we get a couple more options for effects. And the bucket delay is one of my favorites. We sync this, bring up the feedback. And one of the things I love about this is the fact that you can modulate the time of the bucket delay. So you can get this really crazy, almost pitch shifting sound in delays happening. So let's use the sequencer to modulate the time of the bucket delay. Okay, that sound is starting to get a little bit out of control, but you can appreciate the sonic textures capable of this synthesizer. 
as well as bucket delay. We've got a variety of other very usable delays, the ping pong. And again, you can modulate these left and right channels here. We get an included filter on the ping pong delay, which is useful. So yeah, there's the Circle 2 synthesizer. The 2.1 update is out now from Future Audio Workshop, so go and check it out. We're going to be doing some more videos on the Circle 2 synthesizer on the ADSR channel, so stay tuned for some of that. Okay, thanks for watching.